No, 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 no. Chiguna, chiguna. Good boy. Hey guys, it's me again. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. So in my last video about the mistakes that I made in year 12, which I will link up there, I put up a poll asking you guys what you want to see next. And based on popular demand, I'm back with another video on how to revise for your A-levels. I know you guys seem to love my revision videos, you guys loved my GCSE revision videos, so I thought why not do another series on my A-level revision videos. So this is the first one on maths, I'm going to be making one for economics, physics and further maths as well, so stay tuned. But wait, before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all my videos because I post weekly! Now let's get on with the video. Number one, make a timetable. I've been barking on about this point for nearly four years now, but I cannot stress this enough. Time management is so, so important because you think, oh, I'll do this today, I'll do this tomorrow, whenever, and you just delay things and procrastinate, and then nothing ever gets done. But when you have a nice little timetable like this one that I made, you will never forget to do your work and you will know that this is what I have to do today. So I made this on the first day of year 13 when I got my school timetable. So I decided that I'm gonna do two hours of revision every single day, which is exactly what I did in my GCSEs and it seemed to work. So I know what works well for me and that is what I'm doing. Um, I don't really like to revise what I did in school that day because I feel like my brain needs something different in order for it to engage with the content, content effectively. So for example, on Mondays I have maths and economics. So I go home and I revise further maths and physics. Like I've said in my past revision videos, don't just do two hours because I'm doing two hours because if you are not used to doing that sort of intense revision or maybe if you're used to doing more revision than two hours a day do what's best for you because I know I can't deal with more than two hours of revision do the amount of revision that you think is best for you because you don't want to burn yourself out and overwork your brain by doing five hours as soon as you go home and you know power through it and it just be completely useless to you number two use your textbooks everyone gets their textbooks these are mine for maths these are nice big chunky textbooks that we need to learn of course we all have these textbooks but can you honestly tell me put your hand on your heart and say you use these to the max exactly good boy look who's come to join these textbooks are so so useful because they have worked examples right these worked examples are my favorite thing because they teach you each concept that you need to know in your spec and they show you how to go through them and the questions at the end of each um, chapter so for example these ones you will always know how to go back and um, learn them because they will be in the worked examples and this is what I find so useful what I do with this book is say if there's a chapter in school that you know I kind of get or I kind of don't get give it a week or something I will go through that same chapter again instead of like going through each single question what I do is I go through the work solutions, every single work solution, make sure I can do them. And then for each chapter, I will go through the green and the blue questions because they are the exam questions. The green and the blue questions are what will most likely come up in your exam. And another great thing about this book is at the end of each chapter, it goes through a summary of the chapter. So the main points you need to know about, my dog is going to eat my cookie. My favourite thing about this textbook is they have mixed exam practice questions at the end of each chapter. They have so many green and blue dotted questions which are basically all exam style questions. And if you make sure you go through all of them, you will do really well in your exam because this is exactly what you need to know. So this is what I mainly use to revise for A-level maths. I find these textbooks so useful. So basically what I'm trying to say about these books is even if you do understand a topic or if you don't, go home, maybe not the same day, maybe leave it a week, come back to it and teach yourself the chapter again via the worked examples because the worked examples are amazing. And make sure you know the key points. These books tell you everything you sort of need to know. So yeah, I would really recommend these books. Number three, past papers. 
Now this goes without saying, for every single subject that you do, past papers are going to be your best friend because it gives you insight into what the examiners like to test you on and know that you understand. So for example, if you see that for the past five years in a row, binomial expansions has come up, you know that more than likely examiners like to test you on binomial expansions and so you need to revise that make sure your knowledge is 100% on binomial expansions because more than likely it'll be on your test too so spot the patterns and spot the topics that are bound to come up and make sure you know them so you know what to revise on based on your past papers as well as it gives you exam style practice and you know you, you get the time pressure if you do it on a time conditions and you just get to see how um, they lay out the questions and the structure of an exam. And finally number five, watch video tutorials. If there's a particular topic that you struggle on, my first port of call will be the textbooks that I spoke about earlier, but my second port of call will be YouTube because there'll be so many math teachers that have so many videos out there about a topic that you don't understand so for example my sort of weakness was stats like i didn't really understand a certain section stats and so i went home and i looked about i looked up a video about that topic and it just sort of clicked like the penny just dropped and everything made sense and even if a method isn't what they teach you in school if, as long as you understand that method and as long as you get your answer right and you know it's a good method it doesn't matter because you need to make sure you understand the concept because with math it's not it's not one of those subjects that you can just memorize it's an applied subject so there are so many methods but as long as you know one that does the trick for you by all means go ahead with your one just figure out what you know you can do and do it so yeah guys those are my top five tips on how i revise for a level maths don't worry i will be making more videos on my other subjects so stay tuned for them if you have any questions do let me know in the comments down below other than that be sure to leave a huge thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below to see me weekly anyways guys see you next time bye